Together, we must take back control of freedom. Together for managed democracy. Hell Divers 2 is everything that I wanted Starfield to be. As you can tell from behind me, I love space shit. I've always loved space shit. I originally wanted to be an astronaut like Ellie from The Last of Us, but <laughs> I couldn't even pass Mac. So we had to stop there. But as for Helldivers, man, I just want to talk about it because a few days ago, I did a gameplay video whenever it first released, but I did not feel then like I do now. I was more excited about getting the code for the first time from PlayStation than I was the actual game. And truth be told, whenever I played it, if you watch me at the end of that video, I was kind of like, okay, cool. It's fine. You know, it'll be a fun game. It'll be a fun time but it didn't really hit me like that so typically after I record a video to give you some inside baseball if it's a game I'm not excited about or if it's a game that I'm not just like cracked over then usually once the video is over and I can see how the video performs if it didn't do well then either I'm going to continue to play that game off camera or I'm going to delete it off of my hard drive and put it on the backlog and move on I got the hell dive and I was like well I only played it once, once or twice I just I'm just about to delete it and I was like you know what let me jump in another game but this time the difference is play it with somebody and I'm a lone ranger. I hate playing with people. I hate chatting. I, hate, I talk all day. I'm talking right now. So I don't like playing and talking with anybody. My boys, my friends, subs, nobody. Nothing personal, just how I am. I watched Kind of Funny later earlier that day and Greg Miller was saying that it's much funner. It's much more fun with friends or whenever you playing with someone else you don't need to play a solo it sucks. I think Andy Cortez said it as well. So I said you know what what the hell I'm gonna play with some randoms. The best decision of my life and i'm about to tell you about it but first please drop a like on the video i'm so happy to be doing some face to camera videos give me a break from doing gameplay videos i'm so tired of it i'm burnt out to be completely honest so please if you can drop a like on the video comment anything down below just going to help get the video out to other hell divers like yourself you know we're doing it for super earth so we got to get this word out we got to stop this infestation on democracy i'm sorry i'm going bro i'm i'm all in the low that's all i've been doing is watching hell diver videos and tips and tricks and mind you i hadn't really played with a squad of four probably since like COVID, if i'm not mistaken it's been a long time marga long while marga Elden Ring, sorry. And it was the funnest game I ever played in my life. Uh, it's the funnest game I've played in years because everyone had mics. Everyone was excited. Nobody knew what the fuck they was doing. We was all just, what's this strategy and things? We was all like, what's this dude? Throwing shit, smashing each other. Bugs coming, we freaking out. Everybody's giggling and laughing. Dude, I felt like these are my friends that I've been playing with my entire life. And uh, we all friended each other after. And uh, every time I get on now, they always in a game or so. But uh, we have that experience together because I think it was everybody's first game uh but one other guy but there was laughing at me because i had the fancy outfit and i was like how you get that shit i was like i ain't buy that shit playstation sent me a code it was like oh shit you a fancy mo <laughs> dude it was it was such a good time but that experience right there hit a switch and i went oh, okay so this is how this game should be played this is how it feels to be a part of something but it's not just that and i was trying to explain this to my boy nine if you know if you've been watching me while i mentioned him a lot he's one of my closest friends youtuber playstation news channel and reviews fantastic i know this shit anyway but i was trying to express to him why the game is so good because he was just like well you just told me you wasn't that crazy about it and he said and i played it and it seemed like another third person shooter you're shooting bugs and that's it so i was trying to express it but i, I couldn't really find the words to really and I'm still trying to find it, but I kind of give you a context of like the presentation. This is what I thought Starfield was going to be from the gameplay we initially seen of being in space, the shooting, the exploring, the seeing the bugs that you saw in the first gameplay trailer that they showed us. And just being able to, like I just say, uh, you make you feel like Batman, makes you feel like Spider-Man, just makes you feel like a fucking space cadet. This game does it. From the presentation of you being inside your ship that you can upgrade, that you can put shit on that this is your ship this is your house you got an arcade machine shout out you have your section where you go through with all your guns and shit that we can change out you can change your loadout you can go a uh, change your stratagems like it, it, it gives you something to work for it gives you something to grind for you see your list of shit of like all the different and mind you can see it and they do have a battle pass but you, the battle pass is the, the free battle pass is versus the the paid battle pass the free battle pass has much more to offer as it fucking should be and even the paid battle pass is very cheap compared to fortnite call of duty and all these other damn live service games but then whenever you finally select something on the 
on the globe and mind you you playing with the freaking haptic feedback controller whether you're on pc or playstation i got this dual sense edge and you feel everything and whenever you decide oh i'm going to go here and it, it's the fucking globe rotates and you feel the controller go, then not only that you see the ship say okay we're getting in the orbit you see the ship moving into place then you finally select it boom then you get on the fucking pod and you hit those feet doom, doom, and you feel that shit in your controller and the hell diver going out and you fit. the presentation is so they could have easily just like okay start the game and just drop you on the map but no they so over the top the music and boom 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 ba -da -ba. you get up in the lobby and you just wait and someone's gonna join me and next thing you know one person draws alive, another person draws alive, they announce it. Another, what do y'all came up with to say? A hell diver just joined, another mercenary just joined the squad. Y'all get in there, y'all get all suited up, y'all can talk in the lobby. Everybody ready up, let's go do it. As the fucking pirate is coming down, you feeling the vibrations on the control. Hit the ground, soon you pop out that thing. Boom, you get your machine gun or your style gun, whatever you're working. They mark the, the you mark it on the map and you go fucking get it. And it is so fun and it's so stressful. It's just, I hadn't had this much fun playing a game with other people literally since 2020, 2021, season one for Dance Call of Duty. That was the last time I had, I got this feeling that feeling right there and that was the feeling i truly thought star wars star wars that i truly thought starfield was going to do for me but it was the complete opposite how shitty starfield is compared to hell divers and it went above and beyond everyone's expectations and the price the, and the price is 40 dollars as well i truly wish this game was on xbox because i would love for everybody to get to experience this all of my tiktoks and shorts i've made on hell divers on tiktok are well over twenty thousand views it's so engaging and so many people in the comments are saying like i wish you know it's not on xbox or is this coming to xbox and truly truly i really feel bad for him because this is a game i think everyone should be able to play because it's so fun and um i remember being a kid not having the, not having the, the cool console i don't know if it's the cool but not having like this particular console that everyone is playing on and you just like the kid outside looking and you know wishing you can play especially if your family don't have any bread and uh, all you have is the xbox series x because it's all you can afford and you see everybody fucking having fun on this one game and you can't play it bro that's fucking that sucks man that sucks you know Oh, uh, so aside from all the jokes and shit, I you know I, I I wish that and maybe one day it will. But right now, man, it is a fucking great time. You feel so accomplished. See, whenever you finally do, whenever it's time for you, to, when you complete that mission and it's time for you to extract, it gets stressful. Everything comes in, and when you finally get on that damn on ship and you fly out of there, and the music and the popping circumstance and all your accomplishment and your points that you and you and the team has got, it is. Oh man, you get back to the ship, you come up and everyone hits their fucking flex, uh, you know, hit the salute, or oh, you fucking clapping and all the, the fireworks and popping circumstance. You feel like you have won the Super Bowl. You feel like the Kansas City Chiefs. And all you did was fucking go rid the mock. I'm sorry, but go kill some bugs. <laughs> Think about that. In 2024, it can be a video game that's not $70, that's not microtransaction out your mind where you're essentially just shooting bugs. There's no player versus player, and it's just good old fashioned video game fun. It's still possible. And that right there gives me so much fucking hope for gaming that every game doesn't have to be a triple A license, open world, yellow paint, fucking looter. It doesn't have to be that, especially just coming off of playing Suicide Squad and having that taste of third person haptic feedback shooter like bad taste in my mouth jumping into this i was like this is not gonna work out for me man i, I need to play a different game in between to kind of separate it but i still fell in love with it and i hope you did too i hopefully this video if anything you someone that's watching this and you're on the fist and you've been following me for a while you know who i am about my games that i love i'm telling you this is it look alive hell